everybody and welcome back to the Chanel. In today's video we are taking a look at a surprise Street Sharks item from Mattel Creations. I had no clue that this was coming out. I It was just a shock to me. Um, about a week ago Mattel Creations sent me an email and they asked if I wanted um, to be sent a product to review and I said of course um, and I just had no idea it was a Street Shark item. That was pretty crazy. The only companies that I know that are kind of reviving Street Sharks was Storm Collectibles. I'm still waiting to see what they come out with. So Mattel Creations did this unique spin on the Street Sharks. So instead of going kind of like modern and, um, you know, uh, improving past designs and such on their already pre-existing Street Sharks toys, they actually went ahead and brought concept designs to life. So from their Instagram, um, it says, designed from the original sketches, Clamando, Carcass, and Ripster are now the newest slash oldest members of the Sharks. These rare Sharks are only around for a limited time, so take the plunge and collect all three at MattelCreations.com. So I'm gonna say from my favorite to least favorite out of these three, I definitely like Clambo, then Ripster, and then Carcass. And on another Instagram post of theirs, it says, Caution, highly collectible limited edition street sharks. Only 1,000 each of these half man, half shark figures were made, which makes them a super rare must have. Thanks to our designer's endless curiosity, original drawings were reimagined in a Japanese vintage Sofubi style. I don't know what that is. Um, as Ripster, Clambo, and Carcass. All three are packed with premium deco, unique accessories, and a boatload of nostalgia. Sofubi, probably pronouncing it wrong, is a Japanese soft vinyl. All items in this category are produced in small runs in Japan. What the heck is Sofubi? 10 things you didn't know about soft vinyl. I don't really get it too much. Just because somebody sends me over something like a company or, or, or you know, a small company, a startup or something, what have you, um, just because they send it to me and I got it for free doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, give it like a, oh, it's amazing, it's amazing, you sent it for me for free, I'm only gonna say positive things. Like I never ever do that. If someone sends me something, I'll do a critique on it and I always give my negatives at the end. If you see on all my reviews, I always, you know, do my negatives. I'm not gonna just because it's for free, okay? So before we take a closer look at this guy, let's first take a look at the packaging because the packaging is actually pretty sweet. So on the side here, we have this colorized uh, kind of sketch here of Clambo, it looks like. And all around the box, it looks like we have these kind of sketches um, of other Street Sharks characters all around here, which is pretty, pretty cool design. We have a magnetic little flap here um, to close up the box. And when we open it, we do have this window here with this really nice large drawing and right up here of our figure. Okay, so let's read about Clambo. Obviously kind of like a play on Rambo. Um, uh, in the series, he's actually known as Clamando. And um, they never actually ended up making a figure of him. There was like a prototype of him made of Clamando. So he's kind of like, you know, known in the Street Sharks franchises. You know, one of the ones that didn't actually get a toy. Um, so in early concept sketches, the Street Sharks military themed villain was known as Clambo. The half man, half oyster known in the series as Clamando appeared in the animation, but was never actually produced as a figure. The early character study and this Bill Benick I think it's Benneke, designed recreation, both include a camouflage shell and multiple automatic weapons, just like the an- Oh, it's supposed to say, it's supposed to say the animated character, but it says the Aminated character, so they made an error there on that word. The toothy sneer didn't quite translate into 2D, but it's celebrated here in all its jawsome glory. On one early sketch, I noticed the clamshell camo pattern, and in another design sketch, the character had a bandana tied around his eye stalks. Um, there were too many wonderful sight gags to pass up by adhering strictly to one sketch, so they got synthesized into one figure. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take this out of the package, if I can, without ruining the box too much. Oh, there we go. There we go. What is this? So they give you this plastic bag here on the inside. I knew there was something in here. Um, so it says here on the front, Clambo Street Sharks. And on the other side, it says Mattel Creations, Concepts of Creation. So you can actually put Clambo um, in this bag, I guess. I'm not too sure. Not too sure how this bag works. 
it is stapled on this side and it seems like all the other seems like all the other areas are uh, completely closed so not too sure how I would get Clambo in here. You can probably tell that I haven't seen anybody's reviews on this because I'm very unsure of what's going on here. Eh. Oh, cool. I love that kind of like a gradient look. It's like fade on the weapons. Okay, so on the bottom it says uh, GYW79 2021 Mattel, made in China, 1186 MJ1NL1381GS. So um, I, I'm not sure if any of, the, of those numbers or anything pertain to possibly the number in the limited series because I think they said that there was a thousand made of each of Clambo, Carcass, and Ripster. Um, so something I was hoping to see was, you know, like a number, like like what number you have in the series. I think that would have been a really um, nice thing to include because it feels like kind of special, like, oh, there's only a thousand of these and I have number six. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Clambo, the underwater version of Rambo. Um, so he's this really cool pink color. He's got kind of like a little bit of a, I, I swear he's got like the lights playing tricks on me. Oh yeah. So he kind of has um, shading of purple around like his muscles and stuff. He's got some texture and bumps and lumps here on his skin. Um, he's got some fun things to uh, break up his pink color with like the bands around his wrist that are yellow and a band-aid. He's also got these cool green pants, um, also a yellow, yellow, <laughs> also a yellow bandana around his eyes. And um, you can open this little kind of oyster shell here. Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, oh shoot, I just gave myself a little boo-boo. Um, unfortunately, this uh, shell kind of rubs on his eyes here. So you really have to kind of like open it kind of carefully and move it actually a little bit forward so you can bypass those eyes. It seems here that there's a band-aid here, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that that was supposed to be a band-aid and it was just colored over in the, his pink skin color. So I think that was maybe supposed to be yellow, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, but it looks like a band-aid to me that was not colored um, yellow. His clamshell is definitely really fun too. It's like green with kind of metallic-y gold, like gold airbrush around it for some shading. And he also has these rounds of ammunition kind of wrapped around him like a necklace. So his arms move up and down. His wrists can also swivel. Torso swivels too, so you can actually kind of turn around like this. And here are his two fun weapons here as well um, that obviously he can hold. And let's actually compare and see how big this guy is compared to the usual street sharks. They are scaled like perfectly to the original street sharks, which is neat. You know, it's not gonna be like an outlier uh, with your street sharks collection looking, you know, kind of like too small or too big. So I really do appreciate that they stuck to, you know, that street shark size. Oh my god! So my thoughts on Clambo here and this series in general, um, I am so excited um, to see that Street Sharks are making a comeback in the collecting realm here, you know, in 2021. I mean, these things were back from the 90s. The Street Sharks, you know, was obviously kind of like in an ocean equivalent to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it was all like ocean themed. I think it's pretty cool how, you know, it's like it was a concept design and it was one of the um, figures that wasn't released. You know, it was originally a prototype, but they never officially you know, released it. And uh, the colors on this is kind of a little bit hit and miss for me. Um, I do, I do, and I don't like the bright colors. I like the bright colors because to me personally, they're very pleasing. But at the same time, when you fit them into your street sharks, ow, so let's see how well this guy fits in with these street sharks. Oh God. Um, and they're just, they're not really like standouty colors, are they? They're quite bland. If this guy was just scaled down just a little bit, I think he'd fit perfectly in the Ninja Turtle lines. That, just that thing, that I, I swear that's a band-aid that was not painted yellow. Clambo is probably my favorite out of the three. I, I think it's really cool how it was, you know, a toy prototype that was never released. And so they kind of, you know, took one of the early sketches, you know, of Clambo here and made him, you know, reality. I'm not a really big fan of that version of Ripster. Like I understand it's original concept sketch, but to me, it just like, it doesn't even scream street sharks, you know? Like it looks very different, you know, they're, they're like kind of like frat bro shark compared to like these guys. Um, so I understand, you know, it's obviously just an early concept sketch. It's cool how they brought it to life, but it's just so far from like the, you know, final product that it's just, it doesn't even feel like street sharks to me. And I'm also not a big fan of the carcass um, toy as well. And I believe that they said that that carcass is um, do, do, do. the half human, half fish character eventually morphed into the evil Dr. Paranoid. So I guess it was like a form of Dr. Paranoid in between his human form and his later 
Piranoid form, I guess. I don't know. I feel it was an opportunity missed is when I hear street sharks, I think of rubber. I think of that cool soft rubber that they utilized. And that's what I, I felt made their toys really unique is that rubber, um, that rubber material that they used. And so I was really hoping that, you know, when maybe you open up this guy, his head was all kind of rubber or something. You could poke him or I don't know, something like that. So I was just really hoping to see some rubber on this figure. So it kind of saddens me that it's all just, you know, kind of this soft vinyl um, material. So the biggest downside and biggest negative of this figure is that this is $75 US, which, tr which translates for me about $95 Canadian. So I'm gonna tack on some money for shipping, you know? So if I had to buy this, if I wanted to buy this, it'd be like $120 Canadian for me to get this, which personally, I don't think it'd be worth it. Like, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth $110, $120 for me to get this. Um, you know, I, I like these. I think they're cool and everything. Um, there's some things I like about them, some things that I don't like about them. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Ripster or the Carcass. Um, I think this guy's pretty cool, but I just, I would not pay, you know, over $100 Canadian um, over $75 um, US for these. If your whole selling angle is, oh, limited edition, there's only a thousand. You know, I understand you can do that, but if I'm paying for that limited edition, I want to know, you know, what edition I have in that thousand lines. You know, for a uh, hundred dollars US, you know, you can get those giant one fourth scale predators that are like, you know, this big that are really cool. And I know that, you know, they came up with only a thousand each of each figure, but that's not my problem. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, pay over a hundred dollars for each figure. So if I wanted to buy all three figures, that's $285 Canadian plus shipping. So I'm looking at over $300 to buy three little figures. Well, not little, but to buy three figures. And I, I just personally don't think that that's worth it. So I would love to know what you all think of this new Street Sharks line. You know, what do you think of Clambo? What do you think of Ripster? What do you think of Carcass? Out of those three, what is your favorite? Have you purchased any of these? Are you thinking about purchasing one of these? And I understand that, you know, some people are really gonna like these. Some people might not like these so much, but just me personally, I, I just can't justify the price. And I'm a little disappointed of, you know, the no rubber, the no edition number. And I just, I don't feel like they're worth like $95 Canadian, just personally for me. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay a legendary. Yeah.